Folks, Colin here back with more rock and roll. Today I'm going to show you how to use triads in a sensible and effective way that makes life a lot easier for you if you're trying to get into this and you're just getting a bit lost. So, start off simple, simple things. So triads are three notes. You've probably heard that before. And people quite often say, learn all your major triads, learn all your minor triads. But the, the really the important thing to know is that basically for every shape, you've heard, maybe heard of the cage system, there's basically five basic shapes for guitars, uh, guitar chords. Um, but if you look at just one, look at the D shape, nice and easy in the top three strings. That's two, three, two. So your root is on the second string, and then the third is on the top string. So that's D, F sharp, and A. That's the fifth. So that's your major. Now, if you think of the triads, it's kind of like a scale. So, if you're in the key of D, D would be your one. Then your second note would be E. And that's a minor. So your major chords in the key of D are D. Move up the seventh fret. That's G. That's your G triad. And the fifth chord is A. So you got one, four, five. That's your majors. And then the ones in between are minors. So you've got your D major shape, you've got your D minor shape, and you've got my root on the fifth fret for the E. So that's D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, F sharp, uh, sorry, A, A major, and B minor. Now just, you, it should be a C sharp diminished, but just play a C minor. And then you've got you've got the D major, so that's your full scale. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So you've got to remember that your one, four, and five are major, and all the other ones are minor. So people kind of get a bit confused about this, but the key thing is when you're playing triads in rock and roll, generally speaking, you're only going to use two of the strings at any one time. So you could be playing over your D, you could be playing the two and two on two on the G, two on the high E. Then you could be like if you your next for E, e minor, you could be playing four on the G and then three on the high E. Move it up two frets. That's part of your F sharp minor. Move up another fret, that's your G. Another two frets, that's your E. B minor, C sharp minor, and back to D. So that's kind of all your notes. Uh, and I quite often, when I'm starting off getting folk into this, what I do is I like to pick simple tunes and just get them into the idea of using the major scale. So that's I forgot to remember to forget uh, that that is an Elvis tune and it's in the key of E so we're just taking all that we did there, we're moving up two frets we're starting with our first chord E second chord would then be F sharp minor, G sharp minor A, B C sharp minor D minor D sharp minor, sorry, and then E so uh, if you're just playing like, instead of playing the full D shape over the E, if you're just playing uh, 5 on the E, 5 on the B, sorry, and 4 on the E, it gives you a nice, what's called a third. And what I'm going to do, instead of just going, I'm going to play the, the, the chromatic. So I'm going to go from the E to the F sharp minor, but I'm only going to play the, the two strings. And I'm playing the interval in between, so it's five, six, seven. So D, D minor shape, back to the major shape, so that's E. So D shape at the ninth fret. That's a B, so that's D shape again, 11th fret, back to your minor.
then you can you can add in that's a D7 shape. So I went from the B to the D7 shape. So it's oh it's just practice. shape is that that's actually part of a, a C shape as well if you extend it all these chords sort of join together so so you can find the notes using a C shape bar chord that's an E I'm oh, sorry so the main thing to, no to notice is whenever you learn a triad there's a major and a minor version so you've got your D major your D minor shape for the E minor, F sharp minor, and you can use just just two strings, or you, you could use the two strings next to each other, or the two strings with one string in the middle that are, is not played, and that's a sixth interval. Okay folks, hope that's helpful, so have fun with that, and I'll see you next week. Keep rocking, see you next time.